Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you don't know, my name is Dina and on my channel I talk about all things green, including plant sustainability and plant-based food. And I also have my own small business where I make macrame home decor and accessories. So I may talk about small business or macrame stuff as well. But for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make moss poles and also how to put a plant on a moss pole. So these ones I just made, it was my first time making them and it was so easy. It took me a while to figure out what supplies I needed and now that I've made it, there's some supplies that I would change. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how I make them so that you can make them too. It's actually very easy and I know my plants are gonna love it. So we'll pot some of my plants up with the uh, moss poles that I make. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so you're gonna need four things basically to make a moss pole. At least that's what I used. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously your moss. I like to just soak mine in water for a little bit so that it's nice and moist. And it's a lot easier to put into your bowl. The next thing that you are going to need is it's called hardware net. Um, that's what it says on here. It's, I don't really know exactly what it's called because I tried to look for it in store and I didn't really know where to look or what to look for. Um, it's kind of like a mesh, but it's a lot harder and it's, it is plastic. So on the thing, on the label, it says tree guard, caging, small garden, fencing, boundary for ponds and vegetable gardens. So I'm gonna link the one that I got. I got it on Amazon. So that's what's basically going to hold the, the whole moss bowl together. It's not gonna hold together by itself. So you are also gonna need zip ties. This is where I went wrong. Um, your zip ties don't need to be so big. Like the, mine are huge. And I ended up cutting a lot of it off and that is super wasteful. So I'm gonna try to use the ends for something else. But when you get zip ties, try to find something that is a lot smaller. Basically, you can use anything to tie the sides together when you're making the moss pool. So you can use zip ties, but you can also use um, just like any string. It won't, I feel like it won't look as nice. Um, I got black zip ties, so it kind of goes in with the whole moss pool, like it matches, so it's, it's hard to see. But basically anything that can really hold the pole together will be helpful. Now the other thing that I used is stakes. So I used garden stakes as well, just to make sure the pole is sturdy and straight. I don't think it's necessary because the netting itself is quite thick and durable. That's what I did. I haven't tried it without and I like using the stakes since I have them, but if you don't want to use stakes, I think you can probably use it without, but if you do, let me know if it works. So now that you have everything, you have to start by actually cutting your netting to the desired size that you want your moss pole to be. Okay, so Diesel apparently wants to help us. Um, so this is the netting that I have. Um, I didn't measure when I made my other ones, but I'm gonna measure for you now, just in case you like what I do and you can just measure it and make sure you can do it the same. So I just have my measuring tape here and I'm just gonna measure. So the whole thing, if you wanna make a moss pool with the whole length of it, it is 35 inches about. Oh wait, maybe it's not. It's about 36 inches. Um, I don't think there's any plants of mine that I wanna put on that big of a pole yet. So I usually cut it either in half or make one that's like medium size and one that's small. I'm gonna measure how long I want it. So basically you just unroll a little bit, then you kind of fold it over to see how thick that you want your pole to be. This is how thick I want mine. So I cut at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thick. Yeah, so I cut at nine squares, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, which is about four inches. Okay, 
Yeah, about four inches we're gonna cut. So that's the length that we're gonna cut down like this. So I'm gonna start just over on this end. You're gonna need space if you're gonna be doing this and it does get a little messy with the moss. Um, you, if you have like a mat to put down or yeah, like a potting mat, definitely use that, but I can just wash my floor because <laughs> I don't have one. Um, so I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm gonna cut after nine and I'm gonna cut in between the squares, just like this. I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so. I'm gonna get rid of this big ass thing. <laughs> and so that's what you have. I don't wanna make it this big. Personally, like it's, it'll be quite big. So I think I'm just gonna cut it in half actually. I'm just going to literally look at where the half is and just cut between those. I wonder who actually came up with this idea of making your own moss bowls because I didn't even know like this stuff existed before. Yeah, so that should be fine. So if you want, you can cut off those little jagged ends. I have this now. And basically what I'm going to do is I have my zip ties here and my stake here. And then I have my moss. So what I'm going to do is just fill a little bit with moss all the way down and I'm gonna leave a little bit of the bottom empty so that it can stick into the soil too. Then I just put this in the middle like this, and then I cover it up with a little more moss. So we want a nice thick sturdy pole. <laughs> and just kind of smush it in a little bit to the middle. And now I'm gonna start at the top and fold it over. And I'm gonna zip tie the top squares together. Now I'm not gonna zip tie it super tight yet, just to make sure every part of the pole is kind of the same thickness. If it's not, I will just add in a little more moss. So I'm just gonna go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares down and go into the seventh one. And just put that together too. And that one as well. So the same thing all the way down. We're gonna start fastening our pull together. This part here is a little bit thicker than the top. So I think I'm gonna take out a little bit of the moss here and I'm gonna put it in the top. Well, actually I'll just, see I'm just gonna add a little more moss in the top here. Now, it doesn't really matter where you add in your zip ties. Um, you can add them every square if you want, but I feel like this was enough and it worked pretty well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, see what I mean by getting smaller zip ties? Um, these are way too big 
for this. You'd need tiny zip ties. And I wouldn't get bigger ones at all because it's a waste. So I'm just gonna use up the ones that I have now, but I'm not gonna get the big ones again, for sure. And just the very last one. I'm going to zip tie like that. So everything looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. And now I'm just going to push this up a little bit and zip tie everything very tight, making sure the moss is inside. Sticking it in here, just fastening everything till the two ends are together, like this. See? Perfect. So basically that's our moss bowl. Now all you do is cut off the ends. Uh, or my scissor tail. Oh, it's behind me. So make sure everything is as tight as you want before you cut. I'm just go over them one more time. All right. And just cutting that. See, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with all of this leftover. <laughs> and I'm just gonna squish it a little bit, make sure it's nice and cylindery. <laughs> and yeah, that's just the moss bowl. It's really easy to make. Okay, so this is the moss bowl that we just made. It has like a little stake at the bottom and a little bit of extra uh, mesh at the bottom as well so that it can really um, sit secure in the soil but yeah I'm so happy these are actually so fun to make I definitely recommend trying it and it looks pretty good um, I don't know if you can get different colors of this mesh I know I have one that's white you can see it back here I'll list this down below um, my friend Planting's Teeth she sells these so if you don't want to make your own definitely go check her out and get some for yourself so let's um, pot this up with some of my plants. So I have three here. <laughs> They're so fun to make. I literally just want to keep making more, but I'm going to run out of moss. So yeah, let's go plant these. Okay, so now I'm just going to be planting my Cebu Blue that I recently got. It's so cute, um, but I want to make it uh, climb a moss pool, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna, it's in like this size of the pot. I'm gonna repot it in a bigger size because it does need a little more room, and I'm also gonna stick a moss pool in there that we just made. So I just have my mix here. I'm just using like a little, I don't even know if I'm gonna need much more soil, but I'm going to be using like a chunky soil mix. I just made so there's some stuff in here I'm not gonna use a lot of the moss what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit on the bottom try to get some bigger chunks in there to fill the holes of my new pot then what I'm gonna do is grab one of my moss poles just grabbing this one here and I'm gonna just stick it in that. Put a little bit more at the bottom. Let it rest here for a second. I'm just going to take this out of here. See if I can get it out okay. It's <laughs> I hope I don't have to cut it because the roots are really coming out the bottom there. You can see. Oof. <laughs> yeah, it's not budging. I hope I don't have to cut it. Okay, it's coming. Come on, Roots. <laughs> They're holding on. Ooh, it's so pretty. Look at all those Roots. It's always a good sign when you have lots of healthy Roots. I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna loosen the bottom a little bit. And the sides maybe a bit too. And then basically I'm just gonna stick it in with the moss pole. And then just fill soil around it. Just stick it in and then 
fill soil around both the pole and the plant to fill up the new pot. Just like so. I don't want the extra moss though. I just want more soil. Just really making sure everything there is nice and tight. Pretty good, I think. That's enough. Maybe I'll just put a little bit more on this side here. I'm just pressing in. Usually, like if you think you don't have enough soil, and then you water it, it'll show you like you might need a little more soil. Sometimes it will sink down then if you need to put in a bit more. I think I filled up the edges though nicely. I'm gonna get something to set it on quick. I don't want everything just falling on my floor, so I'm gonna set that aside. Just set it here. Like this. Ooh! What just happened? Oh no, my moss pole. <laughs> it was coming out the bottom, I think. So I'm gonna take off a little bit of the soil and let it come back up a little bit. too deep in there and so my stake was actually sticking out of the bottom my bad I think it's good now perfect so we just a little bit more on this side for support I think that's good now Okay, oh my god, it looks so cute. Now we're gonna see if we can try to make it trail up a little bit. Maybe I should have put it on the other side, <laughs> the pool. Because now my plant is sticking this way. I think I messed up. Because my plant wants to grow up this way, but I put it this way. Should I repot it or should I make it grow back? So I have it here, and now it's trailing the right way. It's a little bit small to be growing up, like it's not trailing a lot yet. So I feel like I don't even need the Velcro yet, but I just want to see what it would look like with one one or two vines. So basically I'm just going to take it like this, see if we have any vines already kind of coming up. Kind of let it grow like that. This one here looks like it wants to trail a lot, so I'm gonna just position it like this. I'm gonna grab onto some of these and let's see if that works. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell if anything was done, but basically I attached a couple of vines to the pool. Once it grows more, I'll be able to attach more to the pool. But yeah, so far, it's so cute. Um, I'm gonna see if there's any other ones that I want to put on a bowl, but I think this is it for now. <laughs> okay, so I just put my Cebu Blue on this moss bowl here. I attached it with a little bit of Velcro. It's not growing up that much yet, so you can't really tell, but once it starts growing more, I'm gonna try to make it go up the bowl. But yeah. It's so cute and the pole is so fun to make. I'm definitely gonna make it for more of my plants. I think I'm gonna repot my um, Philodendron Silver Sword too. And um, put it on a pole too. So we'll see, I'll definitely keep you updated with what happens with this. Um, maybe I'll make a video 
if it ends up needing more stuff, but for updates and stuff, I would follow me on Instagram at EarthlingDina because that's where I'll post a lot more. But yeah, I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments if you tried to make your own moss poles and if you have any questions. Um, they were super fun to make, super easy. So yeah, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.